Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up NetBeans IDE on your Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So before installing NetBeans IDE, you need to have Java installed on your Windows operating system so that we can install NetBeans properly. So Java installation is the prerequisite of installing NetBeans IDE on your Windows operating system. So if you don't know how to install Java, I have already created a video about it and I will put the link of that video in the description of this uh, video. So you can watch that video and see how we can install Java on our Windows operating system. So once we have Java, let's move to the installation of NetBeans IDE. So for that, just open your favorite browser and search for NetBeans. And the first link which will appear here will be netbeans.apache.org so we are going to click on this link and straight away here you can see this download button at the time of making this video apache netbeans 24 is the latest version so just click on this download button under the version and then you have few options so you have the binary options which is platform independent and then you have the installers and packages so for Windows operating system, we are going to download this .exe file. So this is the first option here. So just click on the link where it says Apache NetBeans, the version bin Windows x64.exe. So I'm going to click on this link, which is going to redirect me to this page from where I can download this .exe file. So just click on this uh, link which is going to start the download of this NetBeans exe file. So just wait for a few seconds until this file is downloaded. So once this exe file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this exe file and let me minimize my browser here, which is going to open the installation of uh, NetBeans IDE. So just wait for a few seconds. You may also see this kind of warning, which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I'm going to click on yes. And you can see the Apache installer is starting. So now we can see this window, which is Apache NetBeans IDE installer. And also it's going to show you this kind of information, which says what kind of stuff uh, or packages it's going to install. So it's going to install base IDE, Java SE, Java EE, HTML forward slash JavaScript support and PHP support. And it's going to take around 981 megabyte of file space on your Windows operating system. Now, if you don't have uh, this amount of space on your PC, or if you want to customize the installation, you can exclude some packages also. So I have removed PHP from here and I'm going to click on OK now. So once I have confirmed my selection, I'm going to click on next here. And then you need to uh, agree with the license terms and conditions and then click on next. And this will be the location where NetBeans will be installed. And you can see it has already recognized the location where my Java installation is there. So if you have pre-installed Java on your Windows operating system, it's going to recognize that Java installation and it's going to show you that path. Otherwise, you can also browse the path for your Java installation on your Windows operating system and provide here and then click on next. And once you uh, see this kind of summary, you can click on install, which is going to start the installation process. So you can see the installation process has been started. So at this point, I just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. And after some time, I can see this message which says installation completed successfully. So I can click on this finish option and my installation for NetBeans has been finished. So now I can open the NetBeans IDE by clicking on this Windows icon and then clicking on this All Apps icon. Here under All Apps, I can see this Apache NetBeans IDE. So I can click on this uh, Apache NetBeans IDE icon, which is going to launch the NetBeans IDE. And now I can see that NetBeans IDE has been launched on my uh, Windows operating system. So here straight away, I can see I can create a new project or open a project or I can also click on files and then click on new project from here. So I'm going to click on the new project option here, which is going to give me this kind of option. Let's create a very simple uh, Java project. So I'm going to select the first option here, which says Java with Maven. And then I'm going to select 
Java application under projects here. And then I'm going to click on next. Now on, on this next window, I can see the project name, which is Maven project one. If you want, you can change this name also. Then you can see the project location. I'm going to leave it as default. I can also see the default group ID and then version and the package ID because we are using Maven to create the Java project, right? So in that case, you will see a group ID version and the pro package ID here also. So I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on finish, which is going to create my Java application using Maven. So in few seconds, I can see uh, that my Java project has been created. And under this, I can see the source packages where I have this default package. And then I have this Maven project one dot Java file, right? So once uh, your project has been created, you can run your project by just right clicking on this uh, file, which is Maven project one dot Java. Let me click on run file here, which is going to compile this uh, file and run my file. You can see it says compiling and once the build is successful, it prints the output, which is hello world, which is due to this line, right? I can also click on this green button here, which is also going to compile my program and run it into this uh, console or terminal. And once again, I can see this hello world here. So everything is working fine. So this is how you can download and install and set up NetBeans IDE on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.